What's up, everybody? Welcome to Transition Tuesdays. For this Tuesday, January 4th, 2022, I am your host, Russ Williams. I'm so glad you could be here today. So glad you could be here today. I know you could have been anywhere in this world today, ladies and gentlemen. I know you could have been anywhere in this world today, but you decided to be here with me. And I appreciate that. And more importantly, I appreciate you. So welcome to Transition Tuesdays on this first day. We are doing it on 2022, our fifth year running here on Transition Tuesdays. Ladies and gentlemen, I have special guests joining us today. I got an action-packed show. And before we begin that today, I always like to state my intentions. And my intention is to give you the opportunity to laugh, smile, think, and engage in honest conversations about your life transitions. So that's what we do here, here on Transition Tuesdays. And speaking of honest conversation, I'm gonna run down the bio of my guest here. We're gonna try to get this young man on camera. I know he's not camera shy, I know that. So we gotta get this guy on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming, I'm gonna we'll get there. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Okay, let me just run down the intro everybody for everybody now. My first guest is a 6'5 senior from the Bronx, New York, who transferred from Guard Webb and Marquette University and is now starring for the Bahain College Jaspers. He leads the Jaspers in scoring, and he's one of the nation's leaders in assists from the forward position. All right, so that's my man there. We're gonna talk to him. Oh, okay, okay, there is the young man. We see he's not camera shy. And speaking of right on cue, see that? that that's our coach role, right on cue. <laughs> my next guest. <laughs> is a young man in his 11th year as head coach of the Manhattan College men's basketball program. During his tender with Manhattan, he's led the Jaspers to back-to-back -back MAC championships, subsequent trips to the NCAA tournament, and he's the longest tendered coach in the MAC conference. Finally, this young man who is, not, who is not camera shy, we all know this guy, he's not camera shy. <laughs> he's, just one of not, he's, just not, he's just one of nine Division I head coaches to have won a national championship as a player and is just one of seven coaches, 43 years old, of, of, of age or younger, with two conference titles and two trips to the NCAA tournament. So ladies and gentlemen, Transition Army, please help me welcome Mr. <laughs> Jose Perez, and Coach Steve Maciello to Transition Tuesdays. Hold on a second, guys. I'm trying to, I got to get my applause button working. Hold on, guys. Bear with me, please. This is live, ladies and gentlemen. This is what happens sometimes, but we're going to do it all right for my two guys here. Hold on a second, guys. I got to get you guys some applause going here. That's what we do here. If I can find a button. I can't find a button. Here's what I do. Because, again, this is live. I'm going to clap it up for my brothers here. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, Rob. Appreciate you. No problem. No problem, man. How you guys doing? Oh, what happened? Go stay. There you go. There I'm you right go. here. There I'm you right go. Here. <laughs> Everybody's doing good? Yeah. Good, good, good. Well, tonight I'm playing I'm playing the role of a homer. I don't know if you see my, my swag that's going on. You don't see this in the bookstores, guys. You know what I mean? So... <laughs> You know, but I'm just doing it, man. I'm just so happy and elated to have you guys on the program, too, man. You know, shout out to everybody who's trying to reach out. Um, this this little feature here, I can't see people when they're, when they're trying to, you know, come on and make some comments. So if you're making comments, I appreciate you guys. Keep the comments going, and I'll read them later for everybody as well. So, hey, man, I just want to start off. First off, you know, Coach Mass, I want to start off with a couple questions for you, man. How has it been navigating the Jasper ship during this COVID era, man? How has it been for you, man? It, it, it's uh, it's been challenging. You know, it's it's a it's a once in a lifetime, hopefully, type of deal you're you're dealing with. Um, mm -hmm. th there's a rule book and there's policies and there's procedures and that and that all sounds great until it actually hits your team and affects your team directly. Mm -hmm. um, and then and then it's it's kind of really your ability to you know read the room, make sure your guys are okay. I think the hardest thing is just the mental health of your players. Um, you know, it's one thing to test positive and you know your protocols and what you're supposed to do and quarantine. But I, I don't think anyone understands, especially last year, how hard it was, you know, to be on campus, uh, you're really by yourself. You're one of a couple, you know, 
small group on campus. Your classes are, are mostly online. You don't have that physical interaction yeah. that you, you, you want from an 18 to 22 year old. You're not mm -hmm. going to campus parties. You're not really talking to professors hands on. Right. It's a different world. And, and I don't think any of us really understand um, how that's going to affect our youth yeah. and our students probably for a couple of years. Um, yeah. So for me, it's really about mental health. You know, it's, it's really about how are guys coming out of that? How, how are they this summer? Um, and right now we're in a situation where we're kind of going back to that a little bit. We have some pauses and we have some shutdowns. Okay. And at the end of the day, you know, we've been fortunate. Our guys for the most part are pretty healthy, but I always worry about, you know, just imagine if someone took basketball away from you and took social interaction away from you, <laughs> told you go sit in a room for 10 days. Right. That, that, that's not easy. That's, That's not, not easy. easy. Not at all. It's not easy. It's not easy for a 40 year old man like myself, you know, 44 year old man to do it. Never mind a 22 year old kid. And I'm, and I, I'm, you know, and I like where I live. I'm not in the dorm room. You, you know what I mean? So right. mm -hmm. uh, it, it's challenging. So you got, you got to have a lot of empathy uh, as a leader and you have to understand what your what your guys are going through. Mm -hmm. Understood. Jose, how's it, how's it affected you and your family, man, during this COVID era? No, uh, it's been tough. Uh, usually uh, I'm away. So I was, at Garden Web and at Marquette. This is my first year experiencing it, experiencing it in New York, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's been a little tough, you know? Uh, if you do test positive, you can't be around your family and whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons I came home. So it's just been tough. Like, day by day, you got to really just, that's how you got to take it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man. So, you know, yeah, stay safe out there, too. I know it's tough for all the colleges around the country, you know, and uh, for players and for coaches, too. But nah, I know Matt Hancock does the proper protocol, as everybody else is doing as well. So, yeah, I know it's tough. But stay strong, guys. You know, we, we, we Jasper strong. So, COVID don't – Absolutely. Yeah, we, 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 we'll smack COVID in the ass. You know what I mean? We, that's what we'll do. <laughs> there we go. I love it. <laughs> so, Jose, man, talk to me about how was it growing up in the Bronx? Because you're from the Bronx originally, correct? Yeah, yeah. Talk to me about how you, how it was growing up in the BX, man, in the BX, in the Bronx. How was it for you? Well, at times it was tough, um, but, you know, that that's one of the reasons I'm here. Um, it's one of the reasons I am where I am. Uh, so growing up in the Bronx, at first I didn't play no basketball. I played baseball at first. and then, Did like, you really? What, what position did you play, man? I used to play center field and shortstop and catcher. So, he didn't play no baseball, man. Kid was on a baseball team. He didn't play baseball. He was on a team. <laughs> I, was, I was really good. I was really good to one point. And then I just quit and went to Wings. When I went to Wings, I started taking it more serious. Mm -hmm. And then from there on, played basketball. Got the ability. Did my post-grad year at Putnam. Mm -hmm. Went there. Then mm -hmm. won a national championship there. Went to Garden Web my freshman year. Did pretty good there. And then... Mm -hmm. My sophomore and junior years has been roller coaster rides, uh -huh. and my senior year, I'm just trying to make the best of it now. Mm -hmm. I hear you. What made you choose Manhattan, man? After that roller coaster ride with the other schools, why I Manhattan just, College? Just wanted to come home, my mom's okay. house. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm I'm really coach with Coach Mass, so he recruited me out of high school as well. Okay. Uh, so I'm really close with him, and then I made the call to somebody that was really close to him. I was like, oh, I want to come home, uh -huh. and then. Uh, the rest was history. Oh, that's cool, man. Hey, so Jose, man, I want to continue with this basketball theme. Like, when did you realize that basketball was the thing for you? Was it like at a certain age or when did you know, like, okay, bas you know, play baseball earlier, but when did you know, like, basketball was your thing? I never knew to, like, like, I was, I don't know, 16, 17, late. Wow, late bloomer, okay. Yeah, then, yeah. yeah, but I always watched it. Okay. So I was really like, I always knew, like, play, play, where a player should be and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Did you have a favorite player growing up, or do you have a player player now that you patty your game after? Melo and Joe Johnson, believe it or oh. not. Oh, Joe Johnson, really? Joe Johnson was just signed by the Celtics. That Joe Johnson? Yeah, but, but back in the day, it's Atlanta Hawks, Joe. <laughs> right, right, Atlanta Hawks, Joe, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hear you, man, oh, man. Hey, so, Coach, man, I want to give to you, you know, a couple of questions with you, Coach. Can you give us, like, the Transition Army a little brief recap of the season? How's it going for you guys so far? Yeah, you know, it's been, it's been great. I mean, we're having, we're having a lot of fun, um, and, and I think that's a, that comes from winning, obviously. Um, you know, we got together. We, we, we thought last year we had a chance to be really good. 
Um, mm -hmm. we, we got Ann Nelson last year and Samba Diallo. Yeah. And um, we, we took Jason Douglas Stanley as a transfer. It didn't work out with Jason. He's, he's a great guy. But we thought the group we had with what we had returning that year, we had a chance to be really good. Mm -hmm. uh, things didn't go as expected. You know, we didn't have an off season. We didn't have a preseason. Mm -hmm. um, we really get a chance to have any chemistry. And, and that led us to losing seven games by five points or less. Wow. Uh, last year. So here we are last year. You need seven games by five points or less. Mm -hmm. We kind of looked at some of our weaknesses and, and two of them that we, we thought was frontline depth and, and playmaking ability to, to get easy shots. Mm -hmm. um, Jose and Josh Roberts kind of were the perfect fit of, of what we thought we needed to add to what we had. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we went back and forth. We looked at a lot of transfers. We looked at a lot of different potential pieces but we thought those two guys kind of fit fit what we had or what we needed. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they fit in beautifully. I mean, both guys are, are really coming into their own. They're playing really good basketball. Mm -hmm. They're really lead at their craft and they complement what we have. And, and now, you know, now we're sitting in a position of eight and three, one and one in conference. And we still have a lot of, a lot of room to get better. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's the thing I like about this team is we're nowhere near our potential right now. But I think we know how good we can be. Um, and you know this as a former player. You you know as you're going through it, you know, there are some years you're like, ah, well, we're missing this, we're missing that. But yeah. We don't really have that feeling. You know, we kind of feel like we got we got everything we need. It's really a matter of us just staying locked in, staying humble and doing what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, 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 and you know, there's growing pains. I mean, there are days, you know, we're going to bump heads and battle and not see eye to eye or, or not have sure. our best performances. But we're family. We understand it. We're in it for the long haul. And, and we think we're a team that, you know, at the end has a has a legitimate chance to, to win a back championship. Oh, that is super. That's super. Hey, so, Jose, man, what are some of your personal goals that you have as a player? And what are some of your team goals? Do you have any goals out there? My team goal, my player goal is basically the same thing. I just want to win. It don't matter how. If I get two points with eight assists, I, I don't care how it's done. As long as we win as a dub on that dub column, and we get to the NCAA tournament. That's all that matters. Is once you get there, everybody like wins. Like, and that's that's something that that I've been trying to tell like the players that've been there. Like, once you get there as a as one, like it's fun for real. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. So you you tasted that success there. So yeah, I'm sure you and your players is and and everything about that too. Yeah, because you can definitely tell them about that experience and how that's going for you, right? Yeah, especially a one bid league. A one bid league is super hard to win. Uh, I'm not yeah. sure if the MAC is a one bid. I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be two this year, the way mm -hmm. the conference has been playing. But right. Winning a one bid league it ain't easy. Mm -hmm. This is true. This is true. Absolutely. Yep. But you got one guy here who's the master of the one bidder. This guy here, you know. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, coach, talk to me about some of. Do you have any personal goals? Do you have any team goals as well? You know, for me, for me, it's really about. Uh, you know, how, how am I impacting and influencing my players um, mm -hmm. to help them be better men? You know, what if, I, if I'm making them, you know, for me, it's like when I see Emmy come back, Emmy practiced with us today. Oh, and I see, the, I see the father he is and I see the man he's turned into. Yeah. Um, you want to make sure you're teaching your guys. Th th this group of guys is unique because our average age is about 22 years old. Mm -hmm. And... Um, these guys are more like little brothers to me than they are players. Mm -hmm. um, so, so really just making sure they're being the best version of, of themselves right. and they're growing every day is what, what I'm chasing mm -hmm. for them. Um, and it's about habits, just, you know, what are they doing as habits? Um, mm -hmm. as, as far as, you know, basketball wise, I hate to lose. You know, I'm, I'm a sore loser. I don't like to lose. Right. Um, very competitive. <laughs> You know, so and, and and the guy on the phone might be worse than me. So right. that that gives you that gives you an idea of of you know some of the things that that we you know we deal with. But I, I say all that to say, like what we're learning is when we all get on the same page and kind of put our energy towards the commonality of of what we all want to do. I think something special could happen. Mm -hmm. um, but that doesn't happen overnight, and you know that. You know, you, you yeah. got to go through some stuff. You kind of gotta you know, feel some things out, learn and grow. And, and, I, and we talk about it all the time. Like, you know, in my family, there was a lot of arguing and yelling growing up. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how my household was. Mm -hmm. And we love each other a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and that's sometimes how your basketball family is going to be. Like, there's going to be some battles. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, 
we all know what we want and we all have the same goals. Sometimes we just go about it differently. Mm -hmm. and, and those are the things that that conflict resolution piece, you know, it's never personal. It's a lot of mm -hmm. love and a lot of guys very competitive. And, and that I, I love that. I have a lot of fun in that environment and I enjoy that. Yeah. You know, you, you bring up a great point, coach, about how you battle, you know, and you love each other. I, I, I share a point with you, Jose. On one, I had one of my play, my former teammate, a boy, David Burnsley. When, so one time we really got into it. And I told my guys, I said, listen, guys, me and Burnsley, we're going to go up to the locker room that you that you share right now. There's only one key in that locker room. So we both going to go in there. And the, the guy who comes out the key, you know who won the fight. So <laughs> this guy was like six eight, and I'm six four. But fortunately, we didn't have that fight. But again, it goes to the fact you know brothers gonna fight, they're gonna tangle, but it's all love. Everybody loves each other. You know that's the way it goes, man. That's the way it goes. Yeah. Hey, so no Jose, doubt. Though, man, what are some per no no um how how has your transition been to Manhattan College? You know how's it been like basketball wise? How how is it, how has your transition been and well, like socially also? Well. Uh, socially, I, I get along with, like, everybody off the court, you know, maybe on the court, we bump heads just because it's natural, like, um, competitiveness, you know, but yeah. it comes from, like, a good part. Um, Basketball-wise, I wasn't in rhythm to maybe Siena, the Siena mm -hmm. game. Okay. So I, it's, it's, it's a little tough because I haven't played really basketball in, like, two years because I left Gardner Webb mid-season. Mm -hmm. Like February of my sophomore year, then Marquette mm -hmm. was forced to play um, towards the last ten games of the year, and yeah. then came, and then I knew I was, you know, I was gonna have a major role. But it, mm -hmm. it, practicing and game shape are two different things. So Absolutely. it's been smooth, but I, I wasn't in rhythm to the Siena game, I think, and now I feel like I'm getting it back. Mm -hmm. And you know what, too, man, Jose, you remind me so much of myself because. Uh, you know, Coach, you know Coach Beglane, Coach. And um, Coach Beglane was a guy, when I played, he used to punch me in my chest every game and say, play with emotion. Like, I was a guy who played with emotion, reckless emotion yeah. and abandonment, you know what I mean? So I was able to channel yeah. that. So so I see a lot in you. I mean, you you bring in more. You got more of the intensity than I, than I ever could think of. But you bring <laughs> it out. You remind me so much, of, you know, of me. It really does, you know, how you can hold and channel that energy that, that positive energy, that positive emotion, you know, play with emotion, but don't be emotional. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. But nah, keep that up. Keep doing that. Absolutely. Hey, Coach, I want to ask you a question. You've probably never been asked this question before, Coach, so I'll probably be the first person to ask you this question. So, Coach, if you weren't, if you weren't a head coach right now, what do you think you would be doing, man? If I'd, you be weren't a <laughs> I'd, I'd be a lawyer. I'd be a lawyer. You, you feel that, Jose? It's Jose, you think you could be a lawyer, this guy? Nah, yeah, I see it. I definitely see it. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be a criminal lawyer. That's yeah, for sure. Criminal I'd lawyer. Be, yeah, absolutely. I absolutely. See. I definitely you know, see you know, if I see if I see one little weakness or one little thing, I'm 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 going after it. So you're pouncing I'm on gonna it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna poke a hole in your case real quick. I'm I'm looking for that weakness, you know. So uh, you see, uh -huh. um, I, I actually, you know, I joke around sometimes. You know, when I went through my degree stuff, um, I was like, you know, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna get a law degree just to just to let people know, like, you know, I'm not a dummy over here. You know what I mean? Right, so right. there, there are times I think about it, like I might, I might still start it and go, go pass, try to pass the bar or do something. But I love to debate. I love to argue, and I, and I don't mean that in a in a in a negative way. I love I love conflict. You know, I really do. I want to see I want to see if you really know what you're talking about. Are you passionate about it? You know, like can we really have that conversation. And I love to see if I can get people, you know, out of character and get them to react, you know, because mm -hmm. I think that's very telling of how people handle stuff. So I'd be a lawyer if I wasn't a coach. A lawyer. Okay, I can see that. I can see you being a pit bull. I can see that in your, in your three pieces. <laughs> I can see that. I can definitely see that. Get guys on. I, I can definitely see that. All right. <laughs> cool. That's Did funny. you ever ask that question, coach, at all? Has anybody ever asked I, that I haven't. No, you got me on that one. That's the first time for that. I've never been Damn. asked that. First on Transition Tuesday. See that? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> hey, Jose, man, you know, I read the article in the New York Post about you, man. You know, kudos to you, man, your family and everything. You know, and they touched on the, the NIL. Talk to us about being a new member of that blue chip team. 
you know, I, I want to congratulate you on that too, because I, Thank you know, I, I'm all for you know having the, the 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 athlete, you know, getting paid or be in a position, man, you know, to 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 help support their family. So talk to me about this, you know, this blue chip team and and what's that's all about and how we can get on board to to help out my man. Well, it's like a clothing line, uh, branding, like you get to uh, do like basically your shirt hoodies and put a design on it you know but it's 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 all you like it's basically you, you put in all the work for it you know you have a great team behind you um todd like we talk basically like every day on like our thoughts designs like mm -hmm. anything you have in mind to to put forward for the team and there's like big people on it like victor cruz is on it uh yeah, sure. like young coming athletes coming up you know it's, mm -hmm. it's big people mm -hmm. It's like a big deal. So I, uh, the kid Julian Champagne as well from St. John's is on it. I think right. we're the only two people like with that NIL deal as well. Wow, that is phenomenal, man. That's phenomenal. And ain't also read in the article how like the money that you will get off the merch, you know, will go towards your mom, like paying rent and stuff like that, and helping yeah. out your mom. Correct? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay, man. Well, I can't wait to get the gear because I'm I'm gonna have that. You know, I'm gonna have you know I'm swagged out now. You know, I'm get I'm I'm dripping now. But I want to have that. You know that 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 JP. Like, I'm sure it's gonna be the JP. <laughs> I, I gotta, be, I gotta, yeah, I gotta, gotta get be. Yeah, yeah. We got we got to did that. And also, and I'm hoping hoping the people from the Mahan College Alumni Society is watching this as well. What we need to do is rally up behind you, young man, and the school. You know, buy this merchandise. You know what I mean. Matter of fact, we might. You might see a picture show with all of us having the gear on. You know what I mean for the alumni society. That's that's what Jasper's do. We help one another. So I'm I'm looking forward to that. So when is that going to be coming? Is that going to be coming pretty soon, there, Joe? Yeah, Jose? pretty soon. Uh, maybe we get uh release maybe like a hoodie or something before the Iona games. This is such a big game on ESPN. Uh, not sure yet though. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. But you're locked in with that, man, yeah, man. Coach, we've come a long way with this NIL. Imagine our coach when you were in Kentucky, man. And like if, if you were involved in this situation, like I'm sure you would have had stuff lined up, probably a law firm and stuff like that for you, right, coach? Oh, I, I would have had I would have had stuff all over the place. But you know, I think it's I, I think it's great. And, and the reason I think it's great is when you when you look back, you know, and I, I can speak to some of my teammates. I, I know some of your teammates, you know. Yeah. And think of how many times families struggle to come to a game or see see their kids play, or when you made it to the tournament or NIT and, and families couldn't get there. And now we're giving the student athlete um, another opportunity to better their life. And, and I think that's what it's really all about. Um, I think the student athletes uh, put a lot of time in. They're getting a free education, which is life changing. Um, but now they're also learning, I think a great business model of how to really grow invest at, at a young age and, and that that's a big part of life you know so these guys can leave college with a savings account investing in stocks having a portfolio um life insurance policies so it, it's changed and and i think we have to be accepting of that and supportive of that because you know it, it's not like how when i played or when you played yeah. um and it's it's the new wave and, and listen as long as the kids are being smart about it i'm all for it mm-hmm Absolutely, absolutely. Jose, man, I'm going to ask you guys one question each, and then we'll get out of here. And I'm so glad and elated that you guys have joined me today because I know you guys are busy out there practicing and everything as well. But, Jose, for you, man, what has the game of basketball taught you? Well, like life lessons? Uh, it, it hasn't taught me. It's has brought me to people that I genuinely love. Like, I've got to travel everywhere. I got to play with the Dominican national team as well. Like it, so I, I've done a lot with, with just the basketball. It's taken me a lot of places, you know, uh, especially when I went to Marquette, I met some people that, that I'm really going to be close with for the rest of my life, as well as in um, Garden of Web, like the players, like mm -hmm. probably still talk to those players, like still probably every day, you know, so mm -hmm. that's something oh, that's... That, 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 that I definitely enjoy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now you mentioned, uh, so, uh, so are you Dominican? Yeah, I am. So I know, now nah, I'll be remiss if I don't mention this. Now I know you played up in Dykeman, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you play for Dominican Power? Yeah. Okay, okay, just making sure. All right, I don't want no problems. <laughs> I don't want no problems with Ken Stevens. I shout out to Ken Stevens. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, like if you haven't, if you haven't seen like street ball basketball, you need to come to Dykeman. 
I mean, it is like explosive. I can see my man, you know, Jose crossing some cat over, maybe dunking on a three. The kid, people be running out of the stands and, and high-fiving, you know, don't even let the guys run down court. You know what I mean? It is a great experience, man. It's oh, so you play an indictment. All right. Cool. Yeah. Shout out to Ken Stevens, my man. That's my guy there. Oh, man. So, Coach, what about yourself, man? What has the game of basketball taught you? Any life lessons for you? So many, you know, probably so many to even even touch on. But for me, it's it's um, you know, it, it's been a vehicle for me to bring a lot of smiles to a lot of people and impact a lot of people's lives. Um, I think the biggest thing for me, outside of my my family, my immediate family, my wife, my mom, my daughter, um, you know, I get to impact probably you know kids every day, which is what it's all about, paying it forward, um, and and helping people better their lives. But for for me. Um, it's really just about kind of getting back up when you fall down, you know, like I, 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 you know, I make a lot of mistakes and a lot of adversity and, um, because of basketball though, it's taught me from a young age just to get back up, stay in the fight, you know, and, and it's not necessarily about winning the marathon, but staying in the race. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jose, man, how can people get in contact with you, man? How can they, how can, where can they follow you at? You know, how can they get the, the blue chip merch, you know? How, how can people contact you, man? Just my uh, – anywhere, my – you can DM me Instagram, my number. You can get it from yeah. Coach Mass, um, okay. Facebook message. Well, I'm not really on Facebook like that. Right, Just, right, right. Yeah, you, you're a young guy. You know, you, you ain't on this old – this old I, man's I, platform. I used to be back when I was in high school. But <laughs> got oh, a little man. Old. <laughs> <laughs> so they can reach out Jose Perez? Or yeah, old? Instagram, okay. Jose Perez, anything. Okay. Nice, man. Oh, man. I tell you, guys, you know, and again, so and, and, and keep us posted too, Jose, man, because I'm, you know, I'll, I'll be in contact with you. Keep us posted when when the merch drops. You yeah. know, I want us to flood, you know, Blue Chip, you know, what's it, Blue Chip Team? Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. At, at .com? Okay. When that drops, man, I want us to really flood that, man, because I want us to support you, you know, support you in your endeavors. You know, I know about your mom. Really want to support you. I know the gear's going to be fly. You know what I mean? I know you're going to continue to play well, you know, and do your thing, man. So we're going to we're gonna continue to pump that. I'm hoping everybody listening, we flood that website. You know, we flood that. We get that gear, and it's for a great cause, man. And, you know, it's definitely for a great cause for, you know, for a person like yourself, man. And, Coach, you know, I don't know. Can, can you – do you want to give out your, uh, your contact information, Coach? Or? Hey. You, you know that, and, and you know, especially to all the, the Manhattan faithful, anyone can get a hold of me at steve.massey, steven.massiello, manhattan.edu. Follow me on Twitter, yep. steve.massiello. Come by the office, come to any game, hit me up, whatever anyone needs. I'm just, you know, we have a special group of former players, you know, and, and Smooth and your group and, you know, Keith Bullock. And, and, and there's so many great former Manhattan guys that were not only great players, but they're so supportive of the program. And, and it, it, it makes my job so easy. So I just want to thank you guys for, for, you know, always giving back and touching the program. We got to get you guys all down to a home game and, and kind of have you up in the locker room and talk a little bit and, you know, just kind of always keeping those relationships. Because when you start thinking about, you know, Coach Lapis and Coach Fraschella and, and all the great players from that time, even, you know, with, with Gonzo's guys of Luis Flores, I mean, there's just a lot of great history you know, it's funny, we're out in Utah, and we walk into the arena where we're getting ready to play, and Luis Flores is waiting for us uh, wow. in Utah. You know, he's, he's working out there for the, for the Jazz and the G League. So, really? you know, the Jazz, the Jasper family is strong, and, and especially the former basketball players. There, there's a genuine bond and love there mm -hmm. um, that, that I just – I really appreciate and uh, I think is really special. Mm, perfect, man. Good stuff, Coach. Thank you. Lewis, man, I mean, Jose, I'm going to give you the last word, brother. Anything you want to share with the people yeah. out there? Just thank you for having me and uh, just ready to make this NCAA tournament run. There you go. There you go. And, again, my advice to you, because I'm going to be – I've saw, i seen a couple of games of you. Again, you remind me so much of me, you know, minus, you know, minus the hair, you know what I mean? But other than that, but, <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man. Jose, man, I'm really rooting for you, man. And again, my advice to be, you know, play with emotion, but don't be emotional. But, you know, play with that edge that you play with, man. And, and it's contagious, as you see. You know, when people, you know, see, you see you going all out like that, it's contagious, you know. And, and, she, and continue to share your wisdom. Continue to be in your, your players' ears, you know, your fellow teammates' ears about making the tournament. 
because you know how that was and you know how much fun that is. And Coach Mass, you know, he can talk about it. But as a player, though, when a player's in the other player's ear about getting to the top, to the pinnacle, you know, it's nothing like that, man. And you could be that guy to drive that bus, that, that vehicle to do it too as well, man. So, guys, man, I appreciate you guys for coming on Transition Tuesdays. We made it happen. My man was it Coach Mass was a camera shy. We got him on the camera. You know, <laughs> we got it done, man. We got it done. So I'm gonna be in contact with everybody, man. So that way, you know, we can get the merch. You know, I'm looking forward to getting that merch so I can be continuous dripping. You know, I can have that drip there. Yeah, I can have that swag. But now nah, I got love it. Nah, I appreciate you guys coming on, man, and we'll be in touch, man. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Appreciate you. Thank you, guys. No problem. It. Just hit that um hit that phone end button there again. Do you guys have yep. Okay. Gotcha. Take care, guys. <laughs>
So guests of Transition Tuesdays receive a candy gift pack, compliments of our sponsor, Sweet Candy Cafe. Sweet Candy Cafe is located in downtown Lumberton, North Carolina, and is the home of Southern Sweetness. So after the show, after the show, we're almost done. So after the show, make sure you go on the site. That's www.sweetcandycafe.com and get you some confectionery goodies right now. And always keep in mind, they ship home and abroad, okay? So it's no excuse. And that's again at sweetcandycafe.com. So ladies and gentlemen, Transition Army, as we say in party, happy transitioning, and we'll speak to you soon. Take care, everybody. God bless. Oh, Happy New Year. <laughs>
Well, it's like a clothing line, uh, brand jam, like you get uh, new, like basically your shirt, hoodies, and put a design on it, you know. But it's 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 all you, like it's basically you, you put in all the work for it, you know. You have a great team behind you. Um, Todd, like we talk basically like every day on like our thoughts, designs, like anything you have in mind to to put forward for the team. And there's like big people on it, like Victor Cruz is on it, uh, like young coming up, coming up, you know, big people. It's like a big deal. So I, uh, Kid Julian St. Penny as well from St. John's is on it. I think right. we're the only two people like with that NIL deal as well. Wow, that is phenomenal, man. That's phenomenal. And I also read in the article how like the money that you will get off the merch, you know, will go towards your mom, like paying rent and stuff like that, helping out yeah. your mom, correct? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, man. Well, I can't wait to get the gear because I'm, I'm gonna have that. You know, I'm gonna have. You know, I'm. Swagged out now. You know, I'm get. I'm, I'm tripping now. But I want to have that. You know, that, <laughs> that, that, that JP. Like, I'm sure it's gonna be the JP. <laughs> I, I, I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. We got it. We got to dip that. And also, and I'm hoping. Hopefully, the people from the Mad Cause Alumni Society is watching this as well. What we need to do is rally up behind you, young man, and the school, you know, buy this merchandise, you know what I mean? Matter of fact, we might, you might see a picture show with all of us having the gear on, you know what I mean, for the Alumni Society. That's that's what Jaspers do. We help one another. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So when is that going to be coming? Is that going to be coming pretty soon there, Joe? Yeah, Jose? Sure. Uh, maybe we get uh maybe like a hoodie or something before the Iona games. It's such a big game on ESPN. I'm not sure yet, though. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. But you're locked in with that. Man, yeah, man. man. Coach, we've come a long way with this NIL. Imagine our coach, when you were in Kentucky, man, and, like, if, if you were involved in this situation, like, I'm sure you would have had stuff lined up, right, law firm and stuff like that for you, right, Coach? Oh, I, I would have had, I would have had stuff all over the place. But, you know, I think it's, I, I think it's great. And the reason I think it's great is when you when you look back, you know, and I, I can speak to some of my teammates. I, I know some of your teammates, you know, yeah. and think of how many times families struggled to so come to the game good, they or see the their right? kids play. Or when you made it to the tournament or NIT and, and families couldn't get there. And now we're giving the student athlete um, another up, opportunity uh, to better their life. And yes, I, I am. Think that's what it's really all about. Um, I think the student athletes um, put a lot of time in. They're getting a free education, which is life-changing. Um, but now they're also learning, I think, a great business model of how to really grow, invest at, at a young age. And, and that, that's a big part of life. You know, So these guys can leave college with a savings account, investing in stocks, having a portfolio, um, life insurance policies. So it, it's changed. And, and I think we have to be accepting of that and supportive of that because, you know, it's not like how when I played or when you played, yep. um, and it's, it's the new wave. And, and listen, as long as the kids are being smart about it, I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Jose, man, I'm going to ask you guys one question to each, and then we'll get out of here. And I'm so glad and elated that you guys have joined me today, because I know you guys are busy out there practicing and everything as well. But, Jose, for you, man, what has the game of basketball taught you? Well, like, life lessons? Uh, it, it hasn't taught me it brought me to people that I genuinely love. Like, I've got to travel everywhere. Uh, I got to play with the Dominican national team as well. Like, mm -hmm. So I, I've done a lot with just the basketball. It's taken me a lot of places, you know, uh, especially when I went to Marquette. I met some people that, that I'm really going to be close with for the rest of my life, as well as in uh, Garden Web, like the players. Like, mm -hmm. probably still talk to those players, like, still probably every day, you know. So mm -hmm. that's something oh, that's that, 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 that I definitely enjoy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now you mentioned uh, so. Uh, so are you Dominican? Yeah, I am. So I know. I, now I'll be remiss if I don't mention this. Now I know you played up in Dykeman, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. Did you play for Dominican Power? Yeah. Okay, okay. Just making sure. All right, I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems with Ken Stevens. I shout out to Ken Stevens. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> and, and ladies and gentlemen, like if you haven't, if you haven't seen like street ball basketball, you need to come to Dykeman. I mean, it is like explosive. I can see my man, you know, Jose crossing some cat over, maybe dunk.
Okay. So my um, see that's coming up blurry. I think there's something that I have to take a look again at the um settings I because it don't look like that on my. my it doesn't. Mm. Good. I, I, that's great. I would have okay. Said something. Okay. Okay. Good. Because um, I was gonna say to you. So coach, he just sent me a text message, and he and he also a text message, and he also included on um, Jose's number. He says, Russ, I got Jose on this, so you guys can connect offline and discuss some other opportunities. Oh, As okay. we talk about, you know, we talked about the Sweet Candy Cafe. Uh huh. Uh, thank you for having us on. Appreciate you. And then Jose said, thank you for having us. I said, thanks, guys. You both were great. Coach, I will have some, I will have our sponsor, Sweet Candy Cafe, send, send our um, candy gift packs to the basketball office. What's the street address there? Mm -hmm. And I said, I'll be in touch. And Jose, I'll lock your number in. Thanks again, guys. Yeah, okay. Thank you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me just see if I can let me save this bad boy. So why didn't this come out? Oh my god. My shirt is off and I'm still I was still performing. Quiet down now, you know. I'm tripping now. But I wanna have I get that this year. Wait a second. And now we're giving the student athlete um, another uh, opportunity uh, uh, to better their life. And yes, I, I am. Think that's what it's really all about. Um, I think the student athletes. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I got to oh, edit this. Because it has me. It doesn't have the. I get you. I got to add this because look what happens. It has me with my shirt off like now. And it just doesn't have the picture. Look at that end. I got to edit this video. Can I do that? I don't know. I know some of your teammates, you know. No, that was a while. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, what? Okay, close it and go back in. Yeah, hold on a second. That's what it's really all about. Wow. Um, I think the student athletes. When did they leave? Let me, let's see when they left. And as long as the kids are being smart about it, I'm all for it. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is crazy. You know, he's what he's worth. Uh, can I pull this up? And so, guys, man, I appreciate you guys for coming on Transition Tuesdays. Okay. We made it happen. My man wasn't going to have a We got him on the camera. <laughs> oh. We got it done, man. We got it done. So I'm going to be in contact with everybody, <laughs> man, so that way, you know, we can get the merch. You know, I'm looking forward to getting that merch so I can be continuous dripping. You know, I can have that drip there. Yeah, I can have that swag. But nah, guys. I love it. Nah, I appreciate you guys huh? coming on, man, and we'll be in touch, man. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us. I appreciate it. You know, it's nothing like that, man. And you can be that guy to drive that bus, that drip, okay. that vehicle, to do it too as well, man. So. Guys, man, I appreciate you guys for coming on Transition Tuesdays. We made it happen. My man was a Coach Mass was a kid. Good. Because I'm going to be, I saw, I, Jose, man, I'm really rooting for you, man. And again, my advice, you know, play with emotion. But don't be emotional. But, you know, play with that edge that you play with, man. And, and it's contagious, as you see. You know, when people, you know, when people think you see you going all out like that, it's contagious, you know, and, and continue to share your wisdom. Continue to be in your, your players' ears. Think you see you going, and we got it done. So I'm going to be in contact with everybody, man, so that way, you know, we can get the merch. You know, I'm looking forward to get that merch so I can be continuous tripping. Why is the numbers running? Yeah, this is. That swag. But now nah, I got I love it. it. Nah, I appreciate you guys coming on, man, and we'll be in touch, man. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. No problem. Just hit that on. Um, hit that phone. Okay. All right, we got to get this shit off. 
And button man gave to you guys. Uh, yep. And that was it. Oh no. Hold on. Okay. Take care, guys. These guys all down to a home game and, and kind of have you up in the locker room and talk a little bit. You know, just kind of always keeping those relationships. Because when you start thinking about, you know, Coach Lapis and Coach Michelle, was ready to make this mess up. You think you see you going all out like that? Yeah, we got him on the camera. <laughs> guys, thank you. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. No problem. <laughs> So the 3021 mark. I need to have that and cut out the rest. So let me write this down. Because mm -hmm. apparently it was taping after I got off. That technology is like, you know, somebody, a politician with his camera still on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> his fucking mic on. Yeah. But you didn't get off and say nothing stupid. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. If I would have came in here, we would have been like, yo, man, we would have been saying, some told me to just sit still. I'm glad I did. How do you edit this video?